Welcome everyone to another Splatoon News Roundup video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything going off in the world of Splatoon. Make sure you are hitting that thumbs up button as well. I do really appreciate everyone who does hit that thumbs up button. But yeah, I have got a lot of news to cover in this video. So let's just kick things off with a positive news story and that is we got another good look at the figmas for Pearl and Marino. We got more screenshots and these are looking flipping amazing. We got a lot of new screenshots and we got to see what accessories does come with Pearl and Marino. The figmas will come with different facial expressions for Pearl and Marino. But what is really cool about the figmas is that it will come with Pearl's chair and Marina's DJ turntables so you can recreate in Copley's news if you want to so yeah pre-orders will be going live really really soon I will leave a link in the description below if you want to buy them they will cost 14,000 yen which does translate to £100 and $140 or $133. This is before tax and I might assume it does not include shipping as well. So it might cost you a little bit more than that. But yeah, the Pearl and Marina Figmas, they are looking flipping amazing at the moment. I would definitely buy them if I had the space. I just don't have the space to like put them in and display them. But I definitely feel like you are getting what you pay for. I feel like these are really high quality. So yeah, make sure you do look out on the website in the link in the description if you do want to buy the Pearl and Marino Figma. Now what has been blowing up in the community over the last few days is that people are coming up against hackers and it did start off on Sunday evening where people in X rank in Rainmaker they would pretty much start the match and as soon as the match started it did say the enemy team grabbed the Rainmaker and then the hacker would pretty much fly up above up to your pedestal and slam dunk and win the match in a matter of seconds and it did start off with just one hacker I'm not even sure if I can even include footage of what was going on because I do believe that SRB2 dude did upload a video a while ago of him coming up against a hacker but Nintendo did take the video down so I'm not sure if I will include footage of what was going on if I have then this video might be taken down I'm not sure why I'm just trying to inform you of what is going on so yeah this video might be taken down that is why you might not be seeing footage of the hacks in the background because I don't want this video to be taken down but yeah, pretty much from Sunday in X rank, it did start off on Rainmaker, but it did move on to Clan Blitz, and I do believe the hacker has moved on to other ranked battle game modes. But yeah, what this hacker is doing is getting themselves in the top X rank players on the Splatnet app. It's nothing to brag about, you are using hacks. There is nothing to brag about getting in the top players for the game mode for the month when you are using hacks. I don't mind people hacking in private matches but when you are doing hacks in public matches that is really really low. That is just such a ridiculous thing to do. I just don't get why you would do it. You are putting off people from playing the game. You really need to go outside if you need to use hacks to have fun on the game. Seriously it's just ridiculous how this person is doing it they are bragging about their power level on twitter it's just pathetic in my opinion what really gets me is that people are losing x rank points when they are coming up against this hacker when they do lose the match they are losing x rank points and it's not fair it's not right and yeah my message to this hacker is turn your hacks off online 
keep it private. It is not fair for innocent people to come up against you and have a rubbish experience online because you are hacking on a three year old game. I find it really sad how people are hacking online. Keep it private. Keep it away from public matches for crying out loud because you will just end up hurting the game and yeah it's just a really sad sight to see so it did start off with just one person but i have been like keeping an eye of what is going on and i have seen another hacker in salmon run and there does seem to be another hacker as well because i saw a japanese person a few hours ago run up against another hacker so some people speculating that hackers from the first game are now moving over to the second game i really hope that isn't the case and yeah nintendo really need to do something about this apparently this first hacker that did cause the original controversy on sunday evening they did get banned before so obviously they have got around it but yeah i feel like what nintendo should do is brick their whole console i really do feel that strongly about it because this person is ruining the online experience for everybody else and yeah, it's just not right in my opinion and yeah hopefully this will get fixed really really soon black friday is nearly upon us i do believe it is on the 27th of november so a week on friday we have got various offers on splatoon 2 so nintendo they are selling splatoon 2 at 40 dollars so it will be 20 dollars off on the eShop, i do believe and also amazon they have been selling it at $35 recently, but the best Black Friday deal for Splatoon 2 is at Walmart, where they are selling the game at $30. So if you haven't picked up the game yet, now is the best opportunity to do it. And I might make a sort of separate video reminding people of this, like near the time. But yeah, that is a really good deal on the game and yeah if you haven't picked up the game yet i definitely would recommend it even though like what said earlier there are hackers online it seems to be only in x rank at the moment and that is it it's only affecting a small proportion of matches which is good although i would definitely like to see those hackers get banned so say like if you do pick up the game soon you will jump in at the very bottom of the rank leaderboard you will jump in at rank c minus if i'm not mistaken so you will not run into any hackers at all and your yeah, hackers you don't really run into them a lot of the time anyway so yeah you are definitely safe to pick up the game and still have fun it's just that for people who have played a game for a long time and are in x rank they are getting into hacked matches and yeah for 30 dollars to play the single player campaign i kind of feel like that is sort of worth it as well and even if just playing turf war as well again i feel like 30 dollars on top of your switch online membership i kind of feel like that is a good deal so yeah let me know in the comment section below whether you will be picking that up on black friday i'm sure many of you guys watching this video have already picked up the game hence why you are watching this video but yeah i am definitely interested to see how many new players will jump in on splatoon 2 and yeah the next financial data we will get next year will look really interesting maybe we will see a big jump in sales between the end of september and the end of december if that does happen then a large reason for that would be these black friday sales on the game so yeah moving on to the splatfest t-shirts they did recently go back in stock on nintendo's website in america on the my nintendo store i am assuming they are already out of stock so what i am suggesting for you to do is keep an eye out on Nintendo's social media because they might get more back in really soon. And speaking of merch, what Edit Mode are doing, I believe that is the name of the company in Japan, but they are releasing more merch 
in Japan only. They do look really, really good. Finally, for this video, between the 5th and the 6th of December, Nintendo of America are hosting an open online tournament for Splatoon 2, where pretty much, if you do come first, every member of your team will receive a trophy. There will be another top 4 trophy for anyone who does finish in the top 4. So all members of the 2nd, 3rd and 4th place teams will receive a top 4 trophy. If your team does finish between 5th and 8th, every member will receive 2,500 my Nintendo Gold points. This will be live streamed on the 6th of December starting at 10 o'clock west coast of america so yeah if you are playing splatoon 2 on a regular basis with three other people and you seem to do really really well online then yeah i'll definitely suggest for you to take part in this tournament on the 5th of december so yeah that's pretty much it this video i've got more videos coming out really soon i've got for Switch related videos, I have got 3 more Splatoon videos planned as well. So that is 7 videos coming up to the channel really, really soon. But that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to thank everyone for watching. And yeah, we'll see you in another video soon.